so we came to a Belarus uh, train station and it's very beautiful so if you're here like traveling without luggage like I do usually like today you just you know might not go to anywhere else and walk around because there is a few beautiful places to see One minute from Belaruska and there is a quiet, a little bit more quiet kind of square and there is absolutely brand new, absolutely brand new office buildings and some other things. So even if you like, you know, passing Moscow and you have like four hours of changing your flight, you just can take a Air Express, came by here, came by, yeah, stop by here, go back from Belaruska as well. So we need to show you how the Air Express looks like. It will be hard because no filming, no shooting, you know, the guards and security everywhere like, oh my God. And we don't have any guns today, not today. So it will be like a spice, you know, sorry for that. Don't want to go to prison for this video for you. Reported no filming everywhere, I don't know why, but it's one of the rules. When we were talking about the security, for example, this is a real example of how it works in a good way. Uh, nobody was rough, nobody was offensive, they don't say it, like delete everything, it's just there is laws that forbidden to make filming, professional filming, anywhere you want to, like a metro station, so it's maybe, a bit, I don't know what to say these words, but there is like rule, okay? In fact, you have to say to somebody, if you want to see it, you have to go there by yourself and see it with your own eyes. And not like well, now with a, some blog on Instagram or YouTube. So, let's go to airport now. Sometimes on the same line with the Air Express or the rails, there is a train like this or the other type of train, so don't take those. So Air Express, you'll see it right now, and it's like big sign Air Express. Hello. Hello. So are you flying from Moscow? Uh, yeah, back to Italy. Oh, did you like staying in Moscow? Yeah. Give me a five then. Thank you. I have a beautiful Italian girl, and she said she's like being in Moscow, <laughs> but now she's leaving, so. Let's go find a secret place where we can chat. <laughs> So, we can say that we're going from airport to Moscow, back where it doesn't matter, so it's comfortable, we have a table, so, and I took my blanket, I have a friend whose name is Ilya, but we call him Kot, the cat, so he brought it from Cambodia, you know, so you can just, you know, like this, warm up a little bit. else you have a cell phone like a smartphone or, or another type of gadget with the internet 
uh, connection and maybe even without so it's very important it's very important because you know more than modern people are like like useless without the cell phones so I, I'm definitely useless without a cell phone so you have to download transport maps city map or maybe what else Yandex taxi and this one will make you be in touch in line and always to be able to check out where to go and what to do next because in every period of time there is a lot of uh, events to do in Moscow I mean the extremes are also available different types of sports museums concerts shows um, different type of you know human arts street arts uh, seaside in place architect uh, brilliance uh, so talking about the applications for example you moving from uh, uh, airport is still Moscow uh, it doesn't matter so first you have to like realize and make a note of with your address of your hotel or apartment the place you are staying so you make a note with this then you put a note on which metro station or address is located the place you wanted to visit and then with the Yandex transport you just make a few connections it's working offline you know to take a route so you know from which place you can take a bus or metro or whatever and everything will be in your cell phone you won't be able to lose and always always you can ask somebody like the beautiful girl with a regular boy at your boy and of course when you take an aero express there is several stations on the road both sides so you take the last one Belaruska station or um, city airport because you know you might get out like here around trying to go away where the landing area it's just if you don't have like Ferraris you're living in here we're almost like outside the Moscow so it's a, there's maybe nothing for you to watch as a tourist but also it's a safe you know so no worries if you feel that you're in like district like this like no problems at all just you know run and that's it no, I'm just kidding just kidding Call the police. <laughs> I'm just kidding again. No, doing nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's just not as beautiful a center, but it's also safe and cultural. And the people here are very great and wealthy. Yeah, most of them. Because if you don't have wealthy, you won't be able to survive in Moscow. That's why I'm living now. <laughs> Say. Let's take a short pause and wait for everybody to get passed through and we'll take a seat on a bench right here in Sheremetyevo airport because it was... Oh, hello, hello. So, everybody is friendly and only the security is the only guy who's like not like it's doing like this and very like, stop it, like this. So, everybody was like, hey. The station is a little bit reminds me of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows episode when he was like kicked the, the ball on the board under the bench and like like crying like a baby and there was Dumbledore with his like you know unobviously answers like hey Dumbledore am I dead who knows Harry who knows just quit it man just tell me but there is no white light so I'm feel like safe and uh, the thing is that we're not able to film in airports, but uh, there is always a sign. I don't even like know what to tell you about it because you got to be kidding me if you won't be able to find your way through. So let's go back to Moscow. You want for me? And this is for you. Oh. There is an exit, and this is uh, the one we've been searching for to get out of the airport in like 20 seconds. And as we were saying, we don't want to, you know, do um, you know illegal filming and shooting. So 
uh, with, right now is just nobody cares about it. But in the places where there's security areas, we didn't do anything. But just believe us, we've asked. Uh, how we can find the bus and the, the woman said just go over there she was very friendly nice and we'll be able to understand each other so yeah this is like the scene the like of the whole airport and you can see how big it is so it only looks like a tiny uh, here on a screen but all of this is like different buildings far from each other so yeah and so we can as if we like here for a long time so train to Moscow we've been here and we walk around right here and there is the public area and I suppose that there is a bus stop so we're trying to guess no asking no nothing yeah so let's go there and we'll find our bus eh? hello there so can you tell please where is the bus stop to Moscow a bus stop not an air express bus, bus stop station. bus station okay first floor outside the building first floor by the escalator yes. oh okay and over there thank you so we need to find out is there is a a bus stop which takes us to Moscow and trying to not I'm able to read, so I'm just like pretending that I'm not able to. So we need a metro station or a sign for the bus with the schedule, which will say that this is a place for us. So as I was saying, when you get on, for example, in Sheremetyevo, you get into the Rechnoy Vokzal, and you can see over there that there is a bus number 851 and Rechnoy Vokzal. Eight minutes, there will be a bus number 851 and this bus will take us to the Nitros metro station from which we can be able to move very fast like a remember if you live in Moscow with Sheremetyevo airport like just be there in time even more than in time two hours before in time you know and don't make mistakes with your terminal and don't forget to pay for your rides because you know it's like like 40 cents or one dollar what doesn't matter because like the tax the, the fine is very big so i'll use my last ride to get back to Moscow without any problems see you soon okay and that's it so you just put the card like everywhere in the world and everything done so this is the Hechner Vokzal station, the one we saw on a table in the airport and Dynamo and Belaruska on the right, so this is our train, so let's go, no more. Now, you know, remember, last time we've called the cab, it was like the cheapest one and the guy didn't speak English, so nothing interesting. Today we've tried like a premium class of car, so we've called for a Mercedes now and we'll wait for it for three minutes. See you soon. Uh, uh, hello, do you speak English? Uh, so we need a drive and we have a camera with like a video blogging, is it okay? So you take a seat. So we get ourselves a ride in an unusual Russian way, but it uh, looks like it worked out. So this is Ruslan, he's a not very good speaker, but he's uh, become a friend of us. And he's, uh, so he uh, talked to us a little bit because he's, you know, interested also in blogging. So he don't mind for us for our shooting. So we got a, you know, a Mercedes. So and now we're heading to Vedenha and, uh, you know, just Maybe, I know well, if you want to talk a little bit, but if there are any other places you would like to like show or your, your favorite places in Moscow? Oh man, uh, Astankino, Astankino Tele Tower is a beautiful location. Over there, this one? Uh, yeah.
This is one of my favorites. This is the map of uh, Vedenha. So we are just here and there's this building over there and there's this, a park as I've been telling and also area around it. But this one is look like a Millennium Falcon from a Star Wars. Captain Solo's spaceship. Did you find it look the same? Huh? This is the biggest skating ring in Russia, maybe one in the world. It's uh, very beautiful, a lot of flights, not many people, so there's an empty space for everybody, you know, to have a comfortable skating. And uh, I'm thinking maybe to step inside one day, because, you know, sometimes people living nearby the ocean don't swim in oceans for three years. I've never skated this ring for myself, so I decided to do it, but not now, a little bit cold. but. You should try it out, over there. Hey everybody. This is our little tour in Vedenha, as I was saying, little demonstration, demo version. So take a place, step inside by yourself and spend all the time you have in there because it is amazing. And I highly recommend you to go inside and take a try out skating ring. Yeah. So here we are at the last stop. The metro station will take me home and the night mile at Moscow is also very beautiful, the same as the daytime. In a night period it might be even more attractive because you know you can see the greens, the trees and everything it's gone in the winter period, but the light is on, so you know it's like a balance. So maybe you need to come to Moscow twice a year in a winter period and a summer period and so okay, now I'll go home and Take a good nap, see you soon, goodbye, bye-bye. Subscribe our channel and push the like button, the hearts once, and do all the necessary stuff for the channel to you know, grow up, okay? That's the most important thing to do. See ya.